The magician is about to stare death in the face in the form of this imposing guillotine. Once used to behead dangerous killers, lawbreakers, and the wives of kings, the guillotine gained its gruesome infamy during the French Revolution. But that's enough of a history lesson. Tonight, the magician hopes to survive before he's history. He examines the execution device with its razor-sharp blade, which is designed to cleanly sever the head from an unfortunate body. To ensure a clean cut, the neck of the victim is held in place by this heavy wooden stock. Anyone who would get into a device like this voluntarily has to have confidence in his powers of escape or a death wish. Let's hope the girls know how to do the rest of his tricks. If this is going to be his swan song, what a way to go. The magician climbs up onto the table and bends down as the assistants raise the stock. He places his head through the hole so that his neck can be trapped between the wooden planks. Meanwhile, another assistant is securing his legs to the table with thick leather straps. The straps will hold the magician in place in case he has a last minute change of heart. It will also prevent his body from flying off the table in the event the blade hits its target. Of course, all of these restraints will make his escape near impossible and that much more dangerous. Remember, a magician is a world-class professional. Don't try any of his dangerous illusions at home. With the wooden stocks in place and the leather straps cinched tightly around his body, it's time for the magician to begin his escape. That deadly blade is looming just a few feet from his neck. So why isn't he struggling to escape? Maybe he has a death wish after all. Let's watch. It's now or never. Oh no, he didn't get out. That wasn't supposed to happen. This is getting more grisly by the second. As the assistants cover his lifeless body with a sheet, one of the girls places his lifeless head on the table. Maybe it's not so lifeless after all. And now here are the secrets. The blade is real and therefore makes this trick very dangerous to perform. The timing is crucial and means the difference between life and death. The straps are real too, and the magician never leaves the table. What about the head? Well, that's the magician's real head we see falling into the basket. But how does he keep from losing his head while performing this trick? Let's start with the blade. When it drops, it stops against these steel blocks. The sharp edge never touches the magician. But if that's really his head falling into the basket, how does he create the illusion? The magician's neck and upper body drop down through this rubber collar that is painted to look like wood. It snaps closed again once his neck has passed through. Watch again in slow motion as his neck passes through the rubber collar and then snaps closed. And that's not really the blade inside the hole. From behind, we see this small board that is held up by the magician's neck. When he drops down, the board falls down too, creating the illusion that the blade is visible from behind the hole. From the front, it appears as though the blade has separated his head from his body. The table is rigged with a secret trap door that springs open with the action of the blade. Behind the blade is a metal rod. This rod continues to fall after the blade stops, triggering a switch on the table that releases the trap door. When this trap is released, the magician's torso falls down into the basket. But it appears as though his body is still lying on the bench. That's because hidden inside his jacket is a rigid body cast that simulates his back and shoulders. This shell creates the illusion of his body on the bench. Here's what it looks like without the jacket in place. But with the jacket on, it appears that his body never moves. But if his head isn't severed, what does the assistant take out of the basket? You guessed it. It's a fake head hidden by a mask identical to the magician's. Before the trick begins, the fake head and a red scarf are concealed in the basket out of the audience's view. After the magician drops down into the basket, 
the assistant simply reaches down around him and picks up the fake head and scarf and shows them to the audience. But how does this fake head magically come back to life? Of course, it doesn't. What you don't know is that the magician has an exact double. Well, almost exact. At least the mask is the same. Not only does the table have a trap door for the magician, it also has another secret. Beneath the table is a concealed hiding place for the double. She climbs in and waits patiently for her cue. She's hidden from the audience by this mirror which reflects the floor beneath the table. Above, the table is equipped with flexible slats in the otherwise solid top. The rubber slats allow the double to pop her head up through the table. One assistant carries the fake head and scarf to the back of the table, while another girl is arranging an identical scarf around the rubber slats. While blocked from view, the assistant appears to place the head on the bench. Actually, she's walking away with it. With the slats disguised by the red scarf, all that's left for the double to do is open her eyes and give the audience the shock of their lives. And that's the secret to not losing your head.